college, I majored in operations research and financial engineering, which is a bit of a mouthful, but it's a combination of economic statistics and computer science. Uh, and it's really aimed at the practical side of uh, operational processes. So, uh, you know, maximizing for outcomes in certain situations, being able to run simulations, using data to make decisions, a lot of things that ended up feeding into RJ Metrics. While I was in college, there's a pretty interesting chapter of entrepreneurship there. I had a number of businesses that I started as a student. The first one was called YesLetter.com. It was a college admissions consulting company, uh, kind of structured as a software as a service business. So I sold these $70 memberships to high school students and parents who wanted to help get their kids into an Ivy League school or a top college. And it would basically provide either one-on-one -on -one advice through forums or advice through articles written by students who had very recently gone through the process and actually gotten in. So I recruited all of my classmates to write these articles and create this content and then did marketing to sell uh, Yes Letter subscriptions into high schools uh, throughout the country. And that was a, a really fun experience. You know, I didn't get to sell it for a million dollars, but it, it ran profitably while I was at college. And it was a really interesting like take on merging the real world with the internet in some ways. You know, we had to sell into guidance counselors and sell into teachers in classrooms where email marketing and online advertising just weren't really mature enough as channels. So got to really learn the ins and outs of customer acquisition um, in a very brute force way through that. And then in the later half of college, I was taking a lot of courses on statistics and probability and uh, how to write software. And this was around the 2004 era Remember 2004, Texas Hold'em Poker was just absolutely huge. So this is a period in time where Chris Moneymaker won the World Series of Poker, um, which was airing on ESPN for the first time ever. So it's like every time you turn on the TV, poker was on TV. The movie Rounders had just come out on DVD and was like really, really big and popular. And the FTC had not yet cracked down on online gambling. So you could go and play poker online for real money. Uh, and actually kind of reap the benefits. So around campus, everybody was playing. You would walk into the back of a computer science lecture and look at all the laptop screens, and every single one would have multiple poker rooms open on it. And I enjoyed poker, uh, but I didn't feel like memorizing a bunch of probability tables. So I wrote this piece of software that would basically automatically calculate for you in a hand of Texas Hold'em Poker what your odds were of winning, of getting that straight draw that you were going after, of, of landing the, the flush that you were hoping for. And actually ended up selling that software online uh, at 30 bucks a pop. Uh, and this is right around an era where Google AdWords was just starting to come out. So I could buy keywords like how to win at poker, poker stats, poker probability at 10 cents a click and refer people onto a landing page that converted at a really high percentage and have a, a $30 sale. And this was like my first real... Uh, experience with entrepreneurship working like in the second two years of college you know it was not enough money to hire employees or like create a huge business out of it but it was like for a college student who was used to working at an RV dealership at six bucks an hour I was just printing money uh, or at least it felt like I was printing money at that point in time so uh, and eventually in my senior year I ended up licensing those algorithms to uh, a company that built products for the sharper image and they manufactured my product in a handheld device and sold it in the Sharper Image during my senior year of college and, and while I was in New York. And then Sharper Image went bankrupt, but I swear I had nothing, uh, nothing to do with that. Total coincidence. You learn about unit economics really, really fast when you're doing customer acquisition in a business that needs to be profitable. So, you know, we didn't have venture backing. I didn't have friends and family money. I didn't have any personal money. This was all I had to invest was my time, just opportunity costs. So I was accumulating all that sweat equity and realizing that if I didn't put a dollar out and get more than a dollar back in almost instantaneously, this was not going to be scalable. So I really got uh, very, very interested in the universe of viral marketing and guerrilla marketing and all of the channels that you can spend time on, but not necessarily dollars that should get some kind of, of substantial return. And public relations was probably you know, one of my, my favorite focus areas in that regard and has continued to be an obsession of mine you know, even today through RJ Metrics.